Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat Life back with another video. In this video, I've got uh, a little bit to talk about this piston miner and why that uh, it could be a little bit shady. So I'll talk about that and a few other things. Just give you an update of the miners and let's get into the video and let's roll that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what to do? Hit that subscribe button and bell notification. So when I upload my latest vids, you can get notified immediately. So USD crops farmer, this one is slightly gone down just a tad, not by much, but uh, it's you know compared to every other miner out there, it's pretty much uh, doing pretty good. Okay, and that's because of the uh, mandatory ten compound or well, you got to compound 10 times I mean you don't have to you can eat 80% tax but most people will compound so as you can see here compounding I've got I've got to six I need to compound four more times and then I can cash out so that's what I'm doing I'm cashing out every time I already made a video on this and you should cash out every time don't uh, stake for a month uh, rebake for a month um, that's just silly just Take your cash out, take your cash, you only get 48 a year, okay? Four a month, 12 months, 48 a year. So this is probably the best miner right now in the whole miner niche, uh, for what it's worth. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of crash and burns, I tell you. But this one is going up, and this is the B&B Crops Farmers. I think this one's done well because it's a, it's a b and one. I haven't checked the USD Crops and the FTM Crops. But these will definitely be a lot of volume, for sure. Uh, I'm not in those ones, actually, to be honest. Again, I'm doing the same thing. When this gets to 10, I'll wait 48 hours. Make sure I've got a full cart, okay? Cart, it will be full. All right, after I, I do my last compound, which will bring me to 10, which will uh, wipe the tax, and then I can then wait a, another full 48 hours to take two days worth of profits um, but uh, if we look at the con uh, contract it's just ever so slightly plateaued but here if you look at here the BNB balance from yesterday and today it's gone up not by much 3 BNB but still it's gone up okay it's not declining it's kind of plateaued but uh, it's growing slowly so you know there's 4115.13 BMB in this contract so happy days let's hope that this can continue to grow slowly as long as it's growing slowly or it's it's not decreasing fast then you know we're good I mean baked beans you, you you've seen that that's decreasing uh, at alarming rate and people are still promoting it um, you know they shouldn't be but anyway so this is the one I was talking about, this uh, Tash's Wild Magic, uh, a bit of a weird name, but um, this is by the same as the uh, Wizardly team, and this is on uh, Kronos, okay, so I'm not really a fan of Kronos, uh, it's pretty slow, I mean, the cost of transactions are, I guess, on par with BNB, but uh, that could be better. So this is it, you get this Cauldron Balance. You can. This is the prize, the buyback, and the wild magic surge. So, I think that this is kind of a bit confusing because there's nothing to explain it unless you read the docs. I mean, if you look at this, you will not understand how this works. Um, and I think that this is that's part of the problem. People are going to look at this and they're going to know exactly how it works. Uh, within 10 seconds or they're just going to click off the page but I'll tell you how it works you got this cauldron whenever someone buys a wild token so that's a token that you buy 3% of the purchase goes to the cauldron if the token is sold at 3 to 8% of the of the sell goes to the cauldron as well okay so purchase and Sell, selling goes to the cauldron 
and I believe it'd be the cauldron balance, probably that one there. To help the cauldron grow, they must slowly, rapidly, depending on the number of buyers and sells going on, the cauldron grows so the so that the opportunity to truly epic events take place. We have a timer built into the cauldron and it resets every time someone purchases at least a hundred crow worth of wild tokens. This timer will initially set for 10 minutes but it can be altered at any point in time for fun flash rounds. Uh, special events will be uh, communicated well in advance if 10 minutes or no one else spends 100 crow by wild uh, to buy a wild token. Then the last person that has spent 100 crow becomes Tasha's champion. So, yeah, this balance will go to the last person if no one purchases 100 uh, crow. The last person that purchased it will get this 215 and 59 crow. So, you basically, you can just watch it for 10 minutes. Um, you buy it, watch it for 10 minutes. If no one buys, you get this. But if someone buys, then they're the last person, right? And then they have a chance to win this if no one buys a 100 crow in 10 minutes. And so forth. So you can see how it's kind of like a game. This can go on forever and ever and ever if no one purchases. Uh, if people keep on purchasing, 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 because they want to be the ones that want to win the 215 um, point five nine crow, so that's kind of like it's like a game kind of thing. I've seen this play out on Facebook um, with these uh, commenting, so it does have a viral effect as long as you have a lot of people that are willing to participate and have a hundred crow. So um, that's kind of what they're feeling out. They can change the parameters. Ninety percent of the crow is immediately emptied, and forty nine percent of the of that amount goes deposited immediately into the champion's wallet. 51% goes back to the buyback wallet. And then it's got this wild magic surge. I won't get into that. Taxes. Buy and sell tax. Yeah, so yeah, interesting concept. Um, I don't I don't know. I mean if you get a whole like I said, if you get a whole bunch of people that just want to keep on fight for this crow, and just put a hundred in all the time, then yeah, it would work. I don't know if that this would be I don't know if people will put 100 in now. It's going to be like 5,000 in there. Then people are going to be like biting at it. At the moment, this amount is probably too small. In my opinion. But anyway, we'll see how that takes uh, plays out. And that's the same team as Wizardly, okay? So Wizardly is still paying. Um, I'm still earning from Wizardly. And I'm um, rebaking and withdrawing from Wizardly. Um... You know, it has declined a lot, uh, but it's still 555,000 crow in there. Um, so I might compound this one. I have been taking money out of this pretty regularly, uh, but um, I've also been comp compounding multiple times in a day as well. I try to compound because then if you don't compound at all, you just it's just going to slow down to the slowest rate of like 0.5% per day. And it, it can take you a long time just to get some rewards. So I do, I do compound somewhat. So Piston Token, this starts in 36 minutes. Hopefully you can see this video by then. You probably would have started by then. But if you're thinking about going to this, I, I would, like in my opinion, I would, I would not touch it. Um, apparently there was... Um, it's not by the Piston team. It's just they've just used their logo and called it Piston Miner. And it looks like it's just a normal baked beans fork, which we all know how that's going to end, right? It's not going to end good. And apparently uh, here, which was in the ter Piston Telegram group, they said that uh, there's some lines of code here that uh, can, that, that so they can transfer the ownership of the contract or the tokens whenever they want and it's gone so you know again you need to be a coder to understand this and but they're saying that they have a potentially they can rug okay so um, they're not endorsing this in any way because it's not them um, so I, I would personally I would just stay away from this because you don't know 
they can rug or not. They could. They might be able to rug. I don't know. Unless you're a coder, you'll know. So if you don't know, uh, I'll just play safe and not join this. Plus, you don't want whoever's running the show to accumulate all this piston and then dump it on the market. I mean, I did a video on piston the other day. It was I got in about twenty dollars. It's dropped a little bit. What nineteen dollars now? But you know, it's all good because um, I mean, it's a long term thing anyway. So I'll just continue to take my. I said that I was going to take my profits out of BUSD every week and pop it into Piston. So if you're not in Piston yet and you're thinking about joining, check it out. Uh, link will be below if you want to join my team. And if you put in 50 Piston, uh, don't forget there's a 10% tax when you deposit. Um, so you're going to put in 55. You will. I'll send you one free Piston token. But you got to be on my level one. Okay. So there'll be a link below if you're interested. It's a long term thing for me as well. So is uh, Elephant, okay? I've been an Elephant for, for f before they got uh, exploited. They've since now upgraded the code and um, everything's hunky-dory again. There was a lot of FUD uh, when this happened and um, mil mil millions of dollars was taken out of this, apparently. So, I mean, I wasn't affected because um, everything's still the same, but here I've got 720 bonds and 1.4 thousand maturity. Uh, and... So there's a bunch of different uh, tokens, um, videos on Elephant, but you know, essentially you can you can make like 205% APR on this, and if you compound this, you can make like 670% or like seven six x your money basically, six to seven x your money almost uh, on these um, bonds. Okay, so uh, again, this is a long term play for me. And um, yeah, only put in what you can't afford to, uh, whatever you can afford to lose. Sphere is down. Um, I did buy some more Sphere, uh, and it's down today. Obviously, the market is is just red everywhere. It's down twenty three percent. So it's if you're into Sphere, it's probably a good time to buy more because when the market comes back, like this is not going to stay down this forever. Same with the whole market. It's just. It's just bloody at the moment and everything's down. So when it's down, that's when you should buy. So if you believe in this project, then now is a good time to buy, not financial advice. Do your own research on Sphere. And lastly, um, Sleep. It did come from when it was released off uh, Pink Swap, uh, Pink Sale for the um, pre sale. It just uh, it did take a hard dump and. Um, the tokens uh, a lot of people sold off also i also saw so uh from a couple of these sell orders well one sell order was um 1.5 million of what 82 bnb came from the dev wallet so i don't know what that's about but um yeah there were some big sell-offs because the price was dumping uh so i did get out of uh, i did sell my sleep uh, if I didn't sell it, I would have I would have lost even more. So I took about a fifty percent loss on this because I didn't want to um, I didn't want to lose any more. So I think it was the right thing to do at the time. Um, since then, it's gone down further. So you know, look, it is what it is. Uh, it's just people just dump this. I don't know why. They just, as soon as they um, you know, as soon as they, it it came from the pink sale, people just start look. Look at this huge sell off. So, yeah, project looks pretty pretty good, but um, yeah, people just dumped it. So, that's what happens. We'll see what happens in the future with the project. So, that's pretty much it. All the other miners are um, pretty much apart from I'm still earning from crops miners, obviously, baked beans. I'm still taken out of uh, gold miner and uh, rocket game, just very, very small amounts. Uh, roast beef I'm still withdrawing ruby I'm still withdrawing toasted avax I'm still withdrawing <coughs> wizardly still taking out of those and the farmhouse I'm still taking out of that and rebaking when I can the other ones spooky beans FTM ones I haven't been able to withdraw so if you can't get out of those uh, spooky yeah leave a comment below uh, I just haven't been able to withdraw from them or rebake so either sums up the contract or I need to add more gas I've tried it several times it just doesn't work so yeah if you know anything about that comment below but other than that that's all I wanted to say um, the uh, 
this one here, the Tash Magic one I was talking about before, and this piss of mine. I personally, I would avoid this one. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.